Number five, the District of Columbia has implemented one of the strongest and most innovative stormwater management permits in the nation, launched the River Smart Homes Program, developed an aggressive restoration plan for the Anacostia, and spent more than $1 million on low-impact development projects. Uh, number six, our partners in the federal government have worked with us to create a more efficient Bay Program organizational structure. Forest Service continues to champion forest conservation and the expansion of forested buffers. EPA's designated $12.9 million of funding for large-scale restoration projects in partnership with the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation. Final awards will be made in March 2009. And the Department of Navy is pursuing low-impact development solutions to stormwater management. Uh, we also look forward to realizing the full potential of the new Farm Bill, which for the first time actually dedicates funding to the Chesapeake Bay region. And so we continue to make progress even during these tough economic times and hopes are high as a new administration uh, comes to Washington. And uh, we look forward to working with that new administration to accelerate the progress. Uh, we've also been working together to do our part uh, in Maryland as well. Uh, joining with um, uh, our own champion commitments included um, accountability, blue crab restoration, local government engagement, and innovative technology. Through uh, strong action and historic collaboration with Virginia and the Potomac uh, River Fisheries Commission, Maryland took significant steps with our neighbors in Virginia towards rebuilding a sustainable blue crab fishery. And I really want to thank Governor Kane and all of his staff for their professionalism and, um, and the good work that uh, we are doing there. This included direct state funding to mitigate the impact on our watermen and the seeking of federal disaster declaration. Uh, which uh, we have already begun using some of the three million in state funds to employ watermen to conduct environmental restoration work. And on Tuesday, the Department of Commerce announced that Maryland and Virginia will receive 10 million each in federal fisheries disaster assistance funding, which will be used to further mitigate the economic impact of these restrictions which uh, uh, on our watermen and help position our fishery for a more sustainable future. I really want to thank all of those in the Maryland delegation, particularly Senator Barbara Mikulski and uh, uh, Congressman Ma Majority Leader Hoyer and the Maryland congressional delegation for their leadership in obtaining this much needed funding. And uh, again, uh, the thanking our incoming Chair Governor Kane. Number two, in 2008, Maryland also worked with local governments to improve service delivery and results, developing new efforts to engage citizens and businesses. We created the uh, 2010 uh, Chesapeake and Coastal Base Trust Fund to provide implementation dollars directly to our local governments for uh, restoration efforts. Uh, and targeted activities. We developed the Watershed Assistance Collaborative in cooperation with the Chesapeake Bay Trust, the University of Maryland, and our state agencies. It's a new service that will connect Maryland communities interested in undertaking comprehensive watershed restoration projects to the people and programs that will help them accomplish their goals. We also launched the Maryland uh, Corporate Wetlands Restoration Partnership. Uh, an innovative public-private initiative created to restore and create wetlands and oyster reefs and enhance fish passage and control invasive species. And just last week, we launched our Smart Green and Growing, a new initiative to inspire action among all Marylanders so that we can move forward towards that cleaner, greener, more sustainable future that we prefer for our state. So we have uh, expanded our engagement efforts also to Maryland's prisons and our correctional systems, where inmates are actually providing labor for bay restoration projects, uh, raising of uh, seedlings to saplings, and also oyster cages and, and um, soon bay grasses. Uh, number three, uh, in 2008, Maryland worked with the EPA and our University of Maryland to find ways to use technology in a bigger way as a tool to reduce nutrient and sediment pollution throughout the watershed. I'm pleased to announce today our first investment in these new technologies. I want to acknowledge uh, Dar Dr. Darrell Pines, the incoming dean of the Clark School of Engineering, who's representing University of Maryland here today. Uh, we made a $100,000 grant to Zymetis Incorporated, who's enabling uh, enzyme technologies using a unique bacterium isolated from the Chesapeake Bay to convert cellulosic biomass into sugars that can be fermented into bioethanol. And we also made a $50,000 grant to uh, Trafax Incorporated for their advanced solutions to traffic congestion that have the potential to reduce travel times and in so doing reduce emissions. Uh, this year um, we will um, also um, uh, be continuing that champion role supporting Bay Restoration Innovative Technology Initiative by working on a new RFP to generate more projects. And today we also agreed to collaborate 
uh, with National Geographic and their partners to support the introduction of field scope in the Chesapeake Bay watershed. Uh, this is a state-of-the-art web-based GIS tool that also leads to greater and more accessible environmental education for hopefully one day very soon, all ch school children and every school within the Bay watershed. Next month, uh, and December 3rd actually, uh, Greenprint is coming to Maryland. We will be launching our Greenprint in Maryland, and I just use this opportunity to uh, kind of preview that, uh, the notion being that there's a certain minimal amount of land that we need to preserve in our state for all times in order to have a healthy uh, uh, estuary and be able to pass on a healthy estuary to our children. So anyway, I've been talking too long. Let me turn it over now. Uh, we're proud of the things that we've done. Uh, at the same time, we recognize that there's a lot more that needs to be done. Uh, we've had a climate change commission in Maryland. Uh, we've uh, continue, we have gotten back to the Maryland way of using every dollar of open space for the purchase of open space, uh, which was a positive thing. We passed clean uh, cars legislation, created real incentives for homeowners and businesses to uh, use green technologies, and yet we also know that we still have a long way to go.